have some papers, and I should like you to pick them up before you leave. I can't believe this. I just can't believe it. I got this stupid English test in the morning and I can't find Macbeth. It was right here. I was just reading it. This is hopeless. How am I supposed to study when I can't find my book? I know. I bet Mum's got it. Mum, I can't find my book. Mom, I can't find my book. I've looked all over the place. It's just vanished. I'm not surprised the state your room is in. Don't you care about me? Don't you even care? How do I know you haven't burnt it or something? I might as well just kill myself. Well, clean up your room before you do. And you'll never find your body. It's all right, Mom. It's only OAC. I've only been studying it for 12 years now. 12 years. That's not very long. It's just my life. Just think how proud you'd be. Your son, the pig farmer. It's only... Macbeth. failed, I guess. Gee, I thought you'd pass easy. You've blown it with Sarah, pal. All this time you've been telling her how great you are at English. Piece of cake, you said. And now she thinks you're dumb, dumb, dumb. I can pass stupid English. I can pass it just like that. I'll get organized. Just you wait and see. Nick will get the knack. No stupid reflection in a mirror's gonna call me dumb. Dictionary, calculator, paper. <laughs> that didn't take long. Hmm. Science. Spencer. Hi, Sarah. How did things go on the economics test? Oh, Miss Diglish failed me. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You've been studying a lot lately, haven't you? Oh, yeah. I studied a lot with Karen and Joanne. Karen and Joanne do? They passed okay. Perhaps you should study alone. They'll be going on to university soon. You'll want to go with them. 
You know, I do a lot of history in English. It's economics that's the problem, isn't it? I try, you know, I just don't get around to it. I have basketball and dance lesson and time to go out with my boyfriend. You must be really busy. I am. Do you find it difficult to organize? No, I suppose not. You know, it'd be just as easy to organize a study schedule. That way you'd have time to spend on the weaker subjects. There's no point. Miss Deglish will never pass me. Of course she will. This will tell you how to set up a timetable. You start with your social commitments, and then you fit your study time around them. Once you get started, it'll be really easy. If you have spare time, you can come here to study. That'll give you more time at home for yourself. Give it a try. Economics. Yeah, the Glitch has got it in for me. Why don't you come over to my place and listen to some music or something? Listen, I'm pretty upset, okay? Fine, suit yourself. We could do some studying together if you want to, Sarah. No, I think I'll just go home. On Wednesdays, I have basketball practice, so that will be shorter. Each day, I'll get my homework done first, so it's not hanging over me, and then I'll review the classwork. English, history, economics, and science. Sarah, it's Karen for you. Tell her I'll call her back when I'm finished my homework. Homework. Now that's two sessions for each subject per week. That will leave me with two extra sessions for my worst subject. Economics. Oh, TV. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'll start early so I could fit in TV in the evening. And Wednesdays, if possible, I'll do some extra time in the library working on my economics. Now, on Sundays, I could prepare all my work for the following week. Good, let's see. I have two sessions per subject per week. Two sessions after school and one after dinner. With a 10 minute break between each where I could reward myself. Now all I have to do is stick with it. Well, I know it's going to be hard and I know I'm going to get bored, especially with economics. But I have to do this to keep up in class and stay on top of things. And on Friday night, I could party! I mean, my mind just goes completely blank when I look at those geography textbooks. You're lucky you don't have to do this, eh, Cappy? It's so boring. Thank you. 
You not studying? Yeah, I just soon as I finish this. You going to have a big test coming up? I can't study all the time. Can you just give me a break? I'll get back into it again soon. You still at it? Getting late. Yeah, thanks, Dad. I'm uh just studying about the uh pub jump or uh jam pump. Well you know it's really taking a lot out of me to study all the time. Well, good night. Okay, good night. I'm even going to have to confront my old man about this. What's he going to do? Well, he's just going to be really upset. He thinks I've been studying really hard. He just doesn't understand how my mind goes when I look at those books. Um, geography. Again, that means read the opening and summary paragraphs and get an idea of what's in between. Okay, um, how is India changing? Perhaps this section would be more appropriate and tell how India has not changed. Hmm. Because throughout long history, it's often seen that India has been slow to adopt new methods and accept innovations. Hmm. Okay, passive resistance. In seeking to explain, I uh, need to go no farther than the consideration of the Hindu religion. Uh, reincarnation. Mm. In large cities, the caste system is not so strict, but in the villages, it still forms the basic fabric of society. India changing so slowly. Key ideas. One, Hindu religion. Caste system. And reincarnation into higher and lower casts. Read and take notes, okay? Okay, I've finished reading. Now just take a couple of notes. Conservative nature 
of the people. Example, mm, passive resistance, not revolution, to get rid of British rule. They must have been a real weirdo. I mean, these people, the untouchables. They're totally indoctrinated. You say to someone, you're a dog because you deserve to be. And you did bad things in your other life. And they believe you. And they don't do anything about it. Well, I guess that's kind of amazing. I mean, I guess there's things just as sick in our history. You know, things like the feudal system or something. The Hindu religion makes people accept their situation in life no matter how awful that is why India is so resistant to change. Oh, now all I have to do is revise it every now and again. And you thought I was dumb, eh? I showed you. Hi. You okay? Yeah, I did really badly in the science test. Oh, that's too bad, Donna. How badly? And the vascular tissue has one major job, and that is to carry materials from one part of the plant to the other. Now, the vascular tissue itself is uh, specialized into two particular kinds of cells. And one type of cell is called the xylem cell, and the other type of uh, cell is the phloem cell. And the phloem cells themselves are uh, pinwall in structure, the tubular. And then they obviously carry mineral, carry a tubular from the leaves, which are just amputated parts of the cell where it's to be used. Can you please uh, tell me what the difference is between the two types of cells? Donna. Donna. Yes, sir. Will you please pay attention? Joanne, would you answer the question, please? Yes, the difference between the xylem cells is they carry the water and dissolve minerals from the roots to all parts of the cell. But the phloem cells carry the roots and the leaves to other parts of the cell. Describe the functions of the x x xylem and phloem, phloem tissues in the green plant. Z Xylem and phloem? Xylem and phloem. Come on, there's nothing to cry about. I wasn't crying. It's just impossible to understand. Science is not that hard. Your problem is you don't pay attention to make notes in class. You just get your head up in the clouds. Stop talking down to me, John. Just because you're good at it. I'm not talking down to you. Look, it's a real drag the way you complain all the time. Why don't you get your act together and do something about it? Like what? Like study. What are you, a teacher? Studying is boring. In case you haven't heard, it's a colossal waste of time. Have it your way. Well, come on, you tell me. What's the point of knowing about xylem tissues and stuff like that? If you don't know, Donna, I'm not going to tell you. See you later. Yeah. 
Chlorophyll has the unique ability to take the sunlight and to convert it in the process of photosynthesis into chemical energy, which is then stored in the bonds of the glucose molecules which are produced. So we say that uh, chlorophyll acts like a catalyst in this situation. And that is, yes, Donna? Um, what is a catalyst? A catalyst is a substance which um, assists or speeds up a chemical reaction without actually taking part in the reaction, without actually being used up in the reaction. So in this case, uh, the chlorophyll speeds up the photosynthesis process, but it's not used up in the process. So the, the uh, chlorophyll remains in the leaf of the plant. Now, a scientist know, uh, rather don't know, uh, how the chlorophyll is produced. In the, in the